Hi, my name is Linda Egan and I'm part of the team at the Cancer Foundation here in Ottawa. It's a pleasure, a great honour this evening to announce that the winner of this year's Top Volunteer Fundraiser of the Year Award is Gregory Sanders. Gregory's been one of the Cancer Foundation's champions for over a decade now. And in that time frame, he has worn so many hats. He has done so much. He's dedicated to helping people in our community whose lives are touched by cancer. He works hard to make sure that we have funds to support clinical trials. Trials that are bringing new therapies to people in our community so that we can survive cancer, so that we can live a healthier life through this experience. He's also helped us bring cancer coaching to the community, which is a health and social care service that's unique to Ottawa and is a must for anybody who hears those three words, you have cancer. I've had the pleasure of working with so many volunteers and it's been uniquely fun to work with Gregory because we get things done. He moves things forward. If he has to pick up the phone and call 30 or 40 people, he does it. It's an exceptional trait. It's hard sometimes to pick up the phone and ask your friends and family and colleagues, people you haven't seen in a while, to step up to the plate and make a donation. It's, it's a unique quality that Gregory has. He does that in a way that people actually welcome his call. Gregory first got involved with the Cancer Foundation as a member of the Courage Campaign Cabinet, and that was really our first very significant capital campaign and he helped us step into a whole new world. We went from generating about a million a year to five or six million a year and so he was part of that growth and that growth is important to point out because those resources are making things possible to help the people that we love that are touched by cancer have a better life. So truly our champion Gregory Sanders is making a difference to you, to your family, and to your loved ones. And we're happy to celebrate him tonight.